Next, in your map, toggle each of the following layers on and off. USA population density, USA median age, and USA median net worth. For example, there's a layers button here. How do we do that? Over here on the left side is a layers button. Let's go ahead and turn on population density. Now I'm going to zoom out and click on different block, unlock so I can zoom out. So here's my population density. It's like 576 people per square mile, 3,000. Go back to unlocking, looking at the layers, population density. Zoom out a bit. 34,000 people per square mile here. 35,000 people per square mile here, 94,000 people per square mile. What about Greenwich? Zoom out a bit. Six thousand people per square mile. So we've got several different densities, don't we? We have a medium density uh, right here in Connecticut, we had a lower population density in Menlo Park, a high population density in New York City, as you would expect. What about some of these other layers that we chatted about? Let's go back to the Layers tab. Let's look at Median Age. Forty-five years there. Let's go back to New York Fifty-two here in these neighborhoods in New York, fifty-one. Take a look at median age. Fifty-two there, forty-five there. Let's get some more real estate back. But radically different here. Why? Well, this is the campus of Stanford University. So you've got 20 median age there, but just outside that you've got 42, and just outside there you've got 52. Hmm. Let's take a look at another variable. How about median net worth? The median net worth in one of these neighborhoods adjacent to the expensive street was 668,000 in 2010, 684 percent of the national average. Median home value was 437 percent of the national average there. Wow! And here's a median net worth in this neighborhood of one over one million, 1,023 percent of the national average net worth here. That's once again uh, a million here in New York City. In this neighborhood, 683,000. What about uh, Greenwich, Connecticut? This neighborhood, though, interestingly, is 79,000. It's actually below the national average. So why is this street so expensive? Clearly there's a lot going on here. And we're only looking at three different variables. But it begins to help us understand what's going on in these ten... Okay, in this lesson, I'd like you to fill out this table. Define what each variable means. You might need to do some outside research to find out what median net worth actually is. Examine the legend, as we've done, for each layer to obtain the values for each neighborhood. Under each city, describe the pattern of each variable in the expensive neighborhood surrounding the pushpin. Zoom in or out so you can fully understand local patterns com compared to the surrounding neighborhoods. The only thing I neglected to show was how do we get that legend. 
Let's take a look at the legend here. Okay, so any one of those layers, you can click on this legend selection and get the legend. You can go back to layers and you can click on, for example, median age and there's your legend. Okay, so that's how you get the legend. But more importantly, fill out this table and compare the population density, median age, and median net worth for these different neighborhoods. All right, so which of the 10 streets would you say, based on your observations, has the highest population density? How about the lowest? Which of the 10 streets would you say, based on your observations, has the highest median age? Or the lowest? Which of the 10 streets would you say, based on your observations, has the highest median net worth? And the lowest. Continuing on, what influence, if any, does population density have on office rental cost? Why? What influence, if any, does median age have on office rental cost? Why? Finally, what influence, if any, does median net worth have on office rental costs? Why? Are there any spatial relationships between these expensive streets and these three different variables?